Valentine's Day got political yesterday when the White House tweeted a poem to uh, House Speaker Mike Johnson <laughs> reading, Roses are red, violets are blue. The border deal was crushed because of you. <laughs> and you know who also emailed his supporters a V-Day love letter to his wife, Melania, along with a call for donations to his campaign. <laughs> I just, isn't that lovely? <laughs> it's so dead. loving. I mean, is it kind of indirect messaging or is it just love letters? I love the Mike Johnson one. I think it was brilliant because we've talked over... Was it over... how I read it that you liked? <laughs> yes. It was. It was Thank the you. delivery. <laughs> Thank you. Not everyone gets whoopee to read their cards. That's true. Um, but the border is such a, an important issue. And I remember when the vice president was here, she said, it's in their hands. They're not passing it. And then we watch as Republicans right. betray their own bill. Mm -hmm. I think America needs to be reminded, every voter, over and over, this is not the Democrats' problem. They agreed to a very conservative border bill that they were not comfortable... In a lot of ways, we're not comfortable mm -hmm with, yeah. still said yes to get something done, and Republicans sat on it. So I think every time the White House speaks, they should start it with, y'all are in charge of the border now. <laughs> like, this is your problem, and then move on from there, because they are not great at PR and messaging. I well, I have to about tell you, I, they I, sell uh, things. I, I found Trump's uh, email uh, donate uh, just really the kind donation. of funny. Yeah, the, the, the solicitation funny. Yeah. So he says, dear Melania, even after every single indictment, <laughs> arrest, and witch hunt, you never left by my side. Has anybody seen Melania? No, we have not. By his side in any of these court appearances? Nothing. I mean, there's been... So I, I got a little poem for, for Trump. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your wife's gone missing. Get a damn clue. Yeah. <laughs> And Melania also hasn't said anything about Trump's recent loss in court where he was ordered to pay uh, $83.4 million to Jean Carroll for defamation uh, and also found liable for... Well, what could she say? ...sexual assault. And he didn't, so she, she didn't join him in court she, either. She didn't, she didn't support him in that, it appears. Yeah. But the, the other thing, to, to Sarah's point, you know, um, Steve Scalise from Louisiana, the representative out of Louisiana, came back from cancer treatment to kill the bill as well. And when you look at his history... Uh, to impeach um, Mayorkas. And, when, and when, you, when you look at his comments on the border, you know, in, in October, he says, uh, Biden's been ignoring the problem for way, way too long. The border is not secure. In May 2023, he says, House Republicans are taking action today to fix it. In 2021, he criticized Biden's border uh, policies, calling them dangerous for America and for kids. And then he votes to kill the bill. So the hypocrisy is, is just astonishing to me, and I agree, that needs to be the Democratic message. That's, you killed that bill. Yeah. Your party killed that bill. Is it really a crisis? Because you must not think it is. Yeah. Yes, but back to Valentine's Day. Uh, Nikki Haley <laughs> jumped in on the trolling, too, and she actually put out love letters from Donald Trump to dictators using his own words. So to Kim Jong-un, <laughs> Xi Jinping, Putin, and to the Taliban. It's kind of effective. It's literally his own language there. So I know a lot of you have different thoughts on Nikki Haley, but as long as she is hurting Donald Trump, that's good for the future of the country. Mm. I, I, I mean, she's using his, his own, own words. It's pretty effective.